Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing another what I eat in a day on the WW plan during my weight loss journey. This morning I'm getting started by making some homemade sweet cream coffee creamer. This is the simplest recipe. I used half a can of sweetened condensed milk in each one of these pint sized jars, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then I measured out eight ounces of half and half. I made sure to use my scale so everything was measured out. Secure the lids and shake well. Make sure you take a peek at the bottom of the jar to make sure you've incorporated all of the sweetened condensed milk and enjoy. This recipe comes out to two points per tablespoon on the WW plan. If you use fat-free half and half and fat-free sweetened condensed milk, it's only one point per tablespoon, but these are the items I could find in stock in my store this time. Are you cooking too? Oh, are you filming it on your phone? Are you, are you vlogging your breakfast? Ice cream and cookies and Cheerios. Okay, mommy's gonna make you real breakfast. For breakfast, I'm making high protein scrambled eggs. I'm using four whole eggs plus a third cup of low fat cottage cheese. Whisk that together. You'll get creamy, fluffy scrambled eggs with some extra protein added in. I scrambled mine in a skillet over medium heat and used just a touch of avocado oil spray to help them from sticking. I always like to season my eggs at the end because otherwise salt can pull out extra water, leaving your scrambled eggs dry and rubbery. I also popped in one chicken apple sausage for each Nora and I into the air fryer to warm through. They are pre-cooked. And I'm also having one cup of this frozen veg mix. In the side dish, I'm putting a third cup of low-fat cottage cheese with a handful of fresh raspberries. Super hearty and delicious protein-filled breakfast for only nine points on the WW plan. Mmm, you got chicken sausage and eggs? Yum. Oh, and, and Razzies, he love Razzies. Trying to get back into doing a little bit of a bigger breakfast with lots of protein. So I have some scrambled eggs with cottage cheese. I put cheddar on Nora's, but I skipped it on mine. The cottage cheese adds that kind of creamy, cheesy flavor, almost like if you've added a little dollops of cream cheese into your scrambled eggs. If you're not big on the texture of cottage cheese, just pop them in the blender real quick and they'll whip really smooth. You'll get all the protein and creaminess without the little firm pieces throughout. I have some chicken apple sausage, a side of roasted veggies, including squash, peppers, onions, and broccoli, and then um, some more cottage cheese with fresh raspberries and water. The perfect bite, you gotta get a little bit of everything. Dangerous, I get this right. 
Moving on with the day. Just got done with my rebounder workout. I'm officially up to 15 minutes a day on it. I kind of slowly started at 10 minutes a day, taking breaks as I needed, and I've worked my way up over the last couple weeks. I started January 1st, and I started with 10 minutes a day with a couple, like two different times I had to step off for like a minute to do some walking, and then I upped it to like 12 minutes, and now I'm up to 15 minutes. I have started also doing stretching um, for like five minutes just beforehand, just to like get my body warm. That has helped a lot with, um, I had some stiffness in my knees after like the first week and a half. Always make sure your knees have a slight bend to them. You're not like locking them in place to jump. And also stretching has really helped me. Nora's been napping. So I'm going to go ahead and make myself a quick lunch. I don't, it's something that I'm just like throwing together from the freezer. I'm doing a prepared ramen bowl. I've shared them before on the channel. It's a chicken ramen bowl. I get them at Costco to stock my freezer for those days. I just need to grab out a quick lunch. It pops in the microwave for like four minutes. But I like these ones because they have a protein in them. There's chicken in them. That's actually really good texture. And they also have veggies in them. The broth is really delicious. And then for extra protein, I add some like medium boiled, like jammy eggs on top. The egg yolk adds like a nice richness to the broth. And then the white is like a great hearty bite inside the soup. So that's my super quick and easy lunch I'm doing today. But I wanna eat fast so I have time to shower <laughs> and get ready before I have to go get Lila at school. We went and picked up Lila at school. Where are we heading, Lila? The park. To the park. Let's go get those wiggles out. A shoot. A shoot. Did you take your shoes off while we were in line waiting yes. for sister? Yes. You did. Where's your sock? Uh oh. You need your sock and your shoe bug. What? Two shoes. You're always pulling your socks and shoes off in the car, sissy. Come on. If you want to go play, we gotta put them on. Find a pine cone. Ooh, it's windy. We are a little wind blown. We just got back from the park. The girls are um, sitting down over here. They're just about to watch a movie. I made them a little snack. So I made myself a little snack too. This is one of the things I make myself when I'm craving like sushi. I feel like sushi is one of those things that's relatively healthy, but it can escalate quickly with all of the sauces and add-ins, avocado, cream cheese, all that kind of stuff. This one is easy for me to whip together at home. It is half a cucumber cut into rounds. I used two tablespoons of light cream cheese, spread it equally between them. And then I measured out about an ounce and a half. Um, it depends on like how much you want on top of yours. I used an ounce and a half because that looked about how much I needed to cover how many I had. But you just put a little bit of smoked salmon on top of each. I sprinkled some everything bagel seasoning on there. And I am very excited for my snack. Whether you like sushi or like bagel and lox, this is such a great, delicious little bite. There's the crunch from the cucumber, that savory creaminess from the cream cheese, and then that fresh smoked salmon. Lots of flavor in that everything bagel seasoning, a little salty. Mm. Such a great bite. Apparently it's a snacky kind of day. My girls actually wanted some more of their um, Pirate's Booty popcorn. So I decided I'm gonna join them. And I have one ounce here in a bowl and that's only five points on the WW plan. And hey, if I'm sitting watching a movie and having some popcorn, I poured myself a little Cherry Coke Zero for zero points as well. 
Hey guys, all right, it is dinner time here in the Jansen household, and tonight is one of those nights. It is a leftovers night. We had a bunch of stuff left in the fridge um, from over the course of the week, so we needed to clear it out before I cooked anything more for the fam. So everyone's having a little something different. I am actually having some turkey chili that I made earlier this week. I've been eating it for lunch prep. I've been trying to do like one larger either crock pot or one like large pot like soup kind of a dish each week because they serve as a great meal prep throughout the week. You can use them for leftover nights like tonight for something easy and there's a ton of really great low point options. So the turkey chili is only one point. I've shared how to make that one numerous times here on the channel but I will put the link for the recipe in the description box. It's a pound of lean turkey, a can of diced petite tomatoes, a can of tomato sauce, a can of corn, a can of black beans. We like to use onion, garlic, and green bell pepper in ours. So I actually call it like my rainbow turkey chili because there's something from all over the rainbow. So yeah, I have my turkey chili. I topped it with some zero point Greek yogurt as a sour cream replacement. Instead of doing like chips on the side with it, I'm just doing a quesadilla, but yeah. That's what's up tonight at the Jansen household, left overnight. Okay, so it's a lot later, and Josh and I have been hanging out for a while, and our sugar tooth has been craving some sweets lately. Something that I feel like the Greek yogurt bars that we've been having are good, but it's just not the same as like dessert dessert. So I was trying to look up some options as to what I could make to kind of try and curb that sweet craving, but without totally busting my day on WW. I picked up some more Premier Protein Shakes. You guys have seen me use them in the morning. I've used them in smoothies before or sometimes I mix them with espresso for a profi coffee. However, I have never tried the cake batter flavor. This one does come in at three points for a shake on the WW plan, but my thought was, what if we try using this sweet dessert kind of flavor, blend it together with a frozen banana, and see if we can't make some sort of a WW friendly milkshake. Fun fact, one of my favorite ice cream flavors is actually cake batter ice cream with like the frosting swirl that goes through it. When we lived in Georgia, we had like a local chain called Brewster's and they had the best cake batter flavored ice cream. It was so good. So I'm really hoping it tastes something like that. I know it's not gonna be exactly the same because it's not actually ice cream, but let's give it a try. I'm using my Ninja Blender. I love it because it comes with this um, like one single serve cup that you can use in addition to like the large regular blender base. Um, I'll link my model in the description box if you guys are looking for a new blender, but I like it because it blends everything at a high speed, super smooth. So you don't get like those big chunks of ice and stuff. Um, I'm gonna start with just one frozen banana and shake this super, super well one shake. And then I'll see how frosty it is. If we need to add a little bit of ice for consistency, I'll go from there. Bottoms up. I'm gonna reserve my thoughts until Josh takes a taste. I only made one to see if we would like them first before making more. What do you think? It was good. Okay, so you know I was like, Circus graham crackers. Like the animal crackers? Yeah, but the frosting ones. Yeah. It's like if they made banana flavored ones of those. It's oddly specific. I don't get cake batter from it. Like it kind of just tastes like vanilla. So we tried something. It's kind of like, it's definitely a sweet something. Like it'll do for tonight. It scratches that itch. Kind of. I, I think I do prefer the chocolate peanut butter premier protein that I blend with banana as like a smoothie, and I would opt for that over this. It's just like really cold banana milk. Josh is opting for a mint chocolate chip Yasso bar instead, so I grabbed one for him. I will be having my banana milk but that is going to end my day on the WW plan. Thank you guys for following along today's video. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And until next time, bye.